a couple of weeks ago, and I would like to uh, go through the project briefly uh, and remind people what we're talking about and then discuss some of the changes. Remember, this is about bringing uh, an aerospace company to Missouri uh, at the Kansas City International Airport, which is a facility that is, is blessed with uh, lots of open space, uh, which makes it very unique uh, to the, uh, the ability to attract projects of this type. Uh, we're talking about the construction of a new aircraft, the C-Series aircraft uh, from Bombardier, which is a uh, Canadian-French aerospace company. This is a plane uh, that will be in that market of the 100 to 149 uh, passenger uh, seat configuration. Uh, we anticipate uh, that the, the plant itself uh, will have 2,100 jobs uh, involved in manufacturing this aircraft with another 5,000 uh, jobs uh, related to the suppliers who provide components to the aircraft located uh, in, in this area. We believe now, we had originally talked about an average wage uh, for Bombardier at, at $55,000. The, the new projection is that the average wage uh, for those jobs will be $63,000 uh, per year. The economic impact uh, is estimated at $5 billion to the state. We know that there will be at least $400 million of private investment uh, at, at KCI. This body, uh, when we debated this measure uh, a couple weeks ago, asked for several things uh, to be put in this, in this bill, and I want to talk about some of the changes. We asked uh, for the same project for less cost. I think we've done that. We've asked that the, the risk to the state be mitigated. Uh, we ask that the amount of time uh, to by which we issue tax credits uh, be shortened up. Uh, we ask that given uh, concern about the budget in the 2010 to 2012 uh, years, uh, that we not start issuing tax credits during those years. And we also ask that there be clawbacks um, in, the, um, in the provision in case something goes wrong, that we have the opportunity uh, to get our money back. Uh, some of the differences... Uh, and some of the similarities. Similarities, uh, just like the other bill, the credits are issued on a percentage of payroll. So uh, if nobody ever gets hired uh, by Bombardier to, to build aircraft, then there are no tax credits issued because it's related directly to payroll. We also require uh, private investment. Uh, in the bill it says $300 million, but we know it's going to be more in line of $400 million uh, to construct the, the facility at KCI. Now, Differences, though, uh, in the original Senate bill, uh, the credits were to be issued starting in 2010. In this Senate substitute, we call for the credits uh, to be issued starting in 2013. Now, also in the, uh, the original Senate bill, the tax credits were not capped. The only cap was $40 million a year uh, over 22 years, which in theory, although we never thought it would get that point, uh, would establish a cap of $880 million. In the Senate substitute that's before you, that cap is now $240 million. And in the original bill, the tax credits were issued over a period of 22 years. In the Senate substitute, the tax credits are extended for uh, only eight years. So. It